Hello Moggots, today we're taking a look at what you get from condensed resin. Side note, you can only have three at a time it seems, which is interesting. And as you can see there, you need 40 resin to make one. So keep in mind, we're using twice as much resin for something that costs 20. So the bonus rewards, we're gonna hope, are worth it. We're gonna go ahead and start with an artifact dungeon. Before we get started, and I usually don't do this early into the video, but... I would really, really like to hit 100k subscribers before the end of the year, so if you do enjoy the content, make sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell notification if you actually want to get notified of my future uploads, and uh, thanks. Without further ado, let's get on to the video. Also keep in mind we are AR45, which means we are guaranteed to get a 5 star every run, and there is a small chance we also get two 5 stars. And honestly, I don't even really want to say anything until uh, we use our first condensed resin here. Oh, no. All right, so this is the Viridescent Dungeon, AR-45, about to use Condensed Resin. This is the first time I'm using this, I have no idea what to expect. Uh, and what are even the bonus rewards? Just more artifacts? Di something different? Let's find out, together. So we got two five stars. I guess we also did get just more artifacts in general. Uh, but yeah, two five stars which is possible with just using 20 as well. There is one really nice thing about condensed resin though, and that is if for some reason you don't have time to play and use your resin, you can store up to three of these things and they each need 40 resin. So you could take 120 resin out of your pool here, go craft three and you're out of resin and you can just use them whenever else. Since you can only hold three, you can only take three into a new world level, which, uh, you know, would have been a cool little strat. So like for beginners, even though by this point we pretty much know what to expect, I do want to hit up the book dungeon, the weapon materials dungeon, and both of the different ley lines. And that'll be, I believe, all the different things you can use condensed resin on. I really hate that cryo dungeon, so I'm going to hope this one is better. This is Pyro. We're just gonna stick with our main team here. I haven't done this dungeon in a long ass time and never at AR45, so I'm not too sure what to expect right now. I just know I kinda need to use Barbara to keep us not on fire. Ah, two agents. Wow, and they're fire things. That may have just been a graphical update from the game, but uh, their fire things look pretty, pretty sick. So I haven't run that many book dungeons since hitting AR45, and uh, when, you, when you're doing the final one, you are not guaranteed a like golden book. They are actually quite rare. So if we get even one golden, you know, material, I would consider it uh, maybe worth it. So let's use it, see what happens. I would actually kind of expect a gold book, honestly, but we'll see. Maybe just doubles what you would have gotten. Uh, yeah, we do have a gold book here. One? It is one. But it is one, you know? I honestly don't want to spend a bunch of condensed resin testing that to see if, you know, it's a possibility to not get a gold book. Maybe those that are actually just using condensed resin instead of normal resin can chime in. You know, if you've been running some book dungeons, that, that, that would be interesting. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and craft these other two we need for the uh, last three places. Mm, this one is Electro. Wait. I actually did raise this little physical damage bonus cup here. So we're gonna give that a try, see if it helps us any here. And with this type of AR-45 dungeon, it's kind of the same story with the books. You're not guaranteed a uh, golden item. So if we also get one here, it will sort of start to at least point to you guaranteed getting one. So uh, that is something. I unfortunately can't really test that AR-40 and below, because at that point, if you really want to artifact farm at AR-40, I honestly don't recommend going too hard on, on artifact farming before AR-45, but if you're going to anyway, and you are guaranteed a 5 star, then yeah, that would be worth it. Anyway, let's go ahead and start this up, see if we can get any decent uh, numbers in here. We probably should have taken a cryo with us, honestly. That would have been pretty nice, but uh... We're doing some decent numbers anyway, it seems. That Electromage is dead already? What? Oh yeah, I think the weapon ascension ma materials cap out at like AR-40 or something, so that's why it's not that hard. And is golden guaranteed? It's not. Nope. We only got purple. At least, well, we got five of those, two purples, and four of those. What it's starting to look like is less of a doubling of the rewards you would have gotten, and more like it just simulates two runs, or it, or you proc the tree twice, and it basically just drops two runs worth of stuff. So, potentially, in artifact dungeons, you can get three gold artifacts if the actual run you did or the extra simulated run would have dropped two. If that's the case, dropping four artifacts at once would be 
practically impossible. These ley lines should be a pretty good representation of the bonus, because when we go to our book here, we can see exactly what we're supposed to get and what why aren't they here anymore? I mean, I saw the different sorting, but I didn't see they removed ley lines from the adventure book. But regardless, what we're gonna do is do two of these ley lines just to make sure it's still 60k after the update. So we got... Yeah, still 60k. Now we're heading over to the next one up there. Hmm. <laughs> That was a nice run. Now we're going to use condensed resin. How much more Mora do we get? 120k? Yeah. So I'd like to say if you're going to be farming Mora from ley lines, uh, you may as well use condensed resin. On the other hand, I personally think farming ley lines is quite fun and you also get monster drops. So I personally wouldn't. Oh no, why am I doing it again? It doesn't matter. Gonna kill them, get some monster drops, and just not claim the stuff, because I don't actually need it. Mmm, look at all them juicy monster drops. Oh yeah. And I get to kill an Abyss Mage? This is like Christmas. Just to cover all our bases, we are going to do the uh, Adventure XP Leyline as well. Though, since this can be somewhat random, unlike the Mora, we're not going to bother using the normal resin. We're, we're just going to see if it's uh, at least roughly twice as much, which I'm going to assume it is because the Mora was. Alright, got to kill another Abyss Ma- Hey. Stop it. Alright, using condensed resin, we get Heroes Wit and Adventure XP. Boom. How many? Nine? and 14. Yep, that's pretty much spot on. Nine here is a four and a five, and then 14 here is two sevens. Actually pretty lucky with that one. And yeah, I guess that'll pretty much do it. We're going to make sure that there's nothing else we can spin this on. Petrified trees and ley line blossoms. Like, I'm already 100% sure you cannot use this on world bosses, but uh, we're going to make one more just just so everyone's satisfied. Whoa, what was that? Editor? Wait, I am my editor. Moga, go back there and... Was that a fairy that came out of... I don't think revives used to be like that. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Yeah. So we don't even have the option here, which obviously means we can't do it. All right, and so yeah, there's a pretty small sample size of what you get. If any of you guys want to share your experience using condensed resin, I would be most curious about like if maybe five stars are guaranteed at AR40 with condensed resin. That would be interesting. As for the books, I'm leaning on the fact that it's probably not guaranteed. It was just coincidence that we got one. And obviously the same is true for the weapon materials because we didn't get one. And that's what makes me believe that you, you're not going to get a guaranteed you know, orange book. Even if you use condensed resin, but I can't say anything for sure now. It's still a bit too early for me personally to give a recommendation one way or the other, but if you can't play for a while, it's definitely better than letting it go to waste, even though it takes like, you know, 21 hours for it to refill now because they increased the cap. Um, but if you do find yourself in that situation, then yeah. Also, of course, if you're below AR-45, you should try and have three with you when you go into AR-45. Also, generally, just when you're not sure what to farm for the day, and you don't just want to waste your resin going for random things. Like, if you need a ton of weapon and, and, and books on, like, one day at the same time, then it wouldn't be a super horrible idea to make some condensed resin on the day before, so you could take, you know, at least 120 resin from one day to the next. At least for ley lines, it is 100% efficient. You get twice as much stuff, exactly. It's hard to say for the other stuff, but I can imagine it's approximately twice as much as you would have gotten otherwise as well. We never checked out what those uh, five stars were, by the way. We do have a couple of new ones here as well. Check out real quick, defense percent, uh, two other ones here. Meh, not bad, depending on the fourth sub. If it's crit rate, it'd be perfect, pretty much, actually. Besides it not starting with four. And this one's bad. But yeah, one one of those was decent. But yeah, make sure to tell me anything in the comments down below. Dropping a like on this video if you happen to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching. And until next time.